Well, I will keep in the same question actually. And if the, the question is, yes, we had a good production this year, well, we need to acknowledge that each year is different from each other. Temperature, rainfall, wind pressures will change from year to year. So the management needs to be adapted to the new environment that's going to come. Sometimes the same management is not going to work in a different environment. Let's say that next year is going to be a dry year. No rainfall, fertilizers, nutrients will not be taken up by the plants. In this case, we may not apply fertilizer until we see rain in the forecast. Herbicides, well, when we talk about weed control, it might be more difficult in a drought because weeds can thrive better than introduced fodder in a drought condition. And also herbicides will not work pretty well in that circumstances. So, unfortunately, we need to keep in mind that we might have low forage production in a, in a dry condition. And what you need to do is look at your gra grazing management and try to improve it, to, to use better grazing management. For instance, rotational grazing or mob grazing. Now, this year was pretty interesting for people in Oklahoma. Some areas got lots of rain, we saw flooding, others were, you know, nearing drought conditions again right. or in them. So with that kind of variety, let's say it's been a wet year. In terms of planning, they had a decent pastures, it was a wet year, things grew well. What do they need to do this time of year to plan in order to be successful starting next spring? Well, if next year turns them to be a wet year, great, we really can produce more fodder. However, some things may happen that can jeopardize that production. For instance, nutrient leaching. If the soil is saturated and comes more rain, nitrogen can leach to the subsoil. And even potassium if you are in a sand soil. In that situation, lots of rainfall and it's a very wet soil that you are handling, I would say let's split especially nitrogen application in more timing and in less in each time that you're applying. In pastures you can have soil compaction issues when it rains a lot. Uh, the act of the animal is stepping at the same place for too long that can result in soil pugging or compaction. And that may happen most of the time around the water and the supplement sources. So, in a wet condition, when the soil are more prone to compaction, to pugging, what we would recommend is, let's place the supplement away from the water, so the herd, the animals, start to move more, not stay in the same location. And even if it's possible, along the season, try to move, to rotate the location of both sources. To give a little bit of variety in the pasture and give the grass a break, I guess, right? Exactly right. Thank you, Alex, and we'll see you again soon for more pasture advice. Alex Roccatelli, our new Extension Forage System Specialist.